Now we are at the back of our rear unit and we see our closing wheels. For the rubber wheels, we should check if they are maybe worn out. Sometimes there's a little bit more wear outside the wheels, so we have the possibility to may turn the wheels to have that fresh side to the outside. And other way around. If we have to replace the rubber, may while it's broken or cut it, we can lose all the bolts here in the rim and only replace the rubber. For sure we also should turn the wheel to check the bearing. For the arm, we have ceilings and bushings inside here. We would like to take a look now. If our machine is equipped with micro inlaid, we have to remove the micro inlaid hose before so we can remove the arm. Easiest way is to bring the spring to lowest position before losing that screw here. We will not lose it full way, so we can use a plastic hammer to take out the bolt a bit. Spring is to the lowest position put some hands here underneath the rubber wheels because we still have some load from the spring to the wheels. Lift it a little bit and try to remove the bolt here. Take care with the spring, like you have seen or heard now, it goes a little bit down. So now we can remove the complete arm. Here inside we see the axle and also two ceilings left and right side and the bushing. Here it's really important to put after season some grease on the axle into the bushings so the arm of the closing wheel do not freeze in the upper position so we have not the right force on our row unit while planting. And also inside the bushings. Place the axle inside here again. If you remove the spring, it's important we see here three different positions. Standard one is the middle position, the upper one you can get more force to the closing wheels and the one down you can get less force to the closing wheels if needed. If we take the arm and take a look here on that size, we see that we can place that bolt into three different positions in here. That is the case if it seems that the wheels are not centered on top of your seat furrow. We can move by placing the ball in a different position to complete the arm a little bit to the left and to the right side. So now we would like to replace the arm again. We have here the spring, should be a little bit like that. So now we have mounted the arm again. The spring is still on the middle position, so like it's from factory, and also the bolt is on the middle position, so we make sure both wheels are running straight to the seat furrow. Put on the nut again, tighten it, and put back the hose for micro -granulate. For storage season, it's important to bring also the spring again to the lowest position so it can relax over the storage season. If we have closing wheels with an adjustable arm like here, we should also take care about the movement before storage season to so use some oil spray 
and move it up and down several times so it gets not stuck over the storage season.